Ooh. Hey, that's a catchy tune. Not bad. I like it. Hey, everybody, welcome to Kick Weekly episode number one. My name is Dan Verville, and we are your premier source for all things new, exciting, and cool in the crowdfunding world. I am Kim Gazelle. Stay right where you are because we are about to count down the top five crowdfunding campaigns of the week. And we'll soon be posting tons of fun stuff to all our social media. So please follow us there. In particular, follow us on Twitter at Kicked TV. So now, these are the projects that you need to hear about. So let's kick it off. In the number five position this week, an olfactory alarm clock. We've all been startled out of bed by that annoying digital beeping that's built into almost every alarm clock on Earth. God, there it is again. But imagine if you were awoken out of a deep sleep, not by sound or light, but by the delicious aroma of your choosing. Well, introducing SensorWake, the device that can wake you up using only a smell. Choose from delightful scents like bacon, orange juice, coffee, freshly cut grass, peppermint, and many more. And if you're worried you might sleep right through the intoxicating aromas, there is a backup alarm that will sound after three minutes, ensuring you're never ever late for work. Coming at number four is Ergo, the world's first smart standing desk that talks. Made from premium wood and bamboo, this smart desk is your voice activated assistant. It features things like an ergonomic curve, a wireless charger, USB charger, and an HD speaker. And as for the headline feature, you can talk to Ergo like you would talk to a person. It can order lunch for you, it can call you a taxi, it can remind you about meetings, play music, tell you the weather. The list clearly goes on and on. This desk reminds me of the Jetsons, futuristic cartoon from the 1960s. I, I love the movie Argo. In the number three position this week, the ultimate in self-broadcasting. Introducing SoloCam, the first HD selfie microphone. Selfie sticks are fairly commonplace these days, but they are typically just a camera stick. SoloCam adds the functionality of a high quality microphone, adding production value to your self-shot smartphone videos. It's got a joystick to control the stick's functions and also works the designated app. Not only could you rock out in the shower like this guy, you can also eliminate the need for expensive temperamental camera operators. <laughs> That was super awkward. So let's move on to number two. Introducing Museo from Santa Monica, California. This is your very own artificial intelligence robot friend. This handsome little fellow is designed to learn, adapt, and grow with you. The more you use it, the more it gets to know you and the smarter it becomes. So what kind of things can it do? Well, it can answer questions that you ask. It can operate smart devices like a smart light. It can remind you of meetings. It can tell jokes. And it is a great learning tool for kids. Museo works over a Wi-Fi connection and it comes with a little house where you can actually store him and let him recharge his precious little batteries. Our number one spot this week is going not to a robot, but to something even better. As you've just seen, we're talking about a pogo stick on steroids. The V4 is described as the world's most advanced adult pogo stick. It uses an air spring which can launch you upwards of 10 feet in the air. Look at this pogo stick B-roll, leaping lizards. The V4 pogo stick can be used by anyone over four foot eight and 75 pounds, and it's great for fun, exercise, and sport. Think of the looks you'd be getting bouncing down the street on this bad boy. As we like to say in the TV business, gadzooks. <laughs> First of all, it's gadzooks, and second of all, no one says it, TV business or otherwise. Everyone says it. No, they don't. Everyone in the biz I know that says it. That is false. Well, that'll do it for episode one here of Kicked Weekly, and what what an episode it was. Yeah. Yeah, it was great. There's so much cool stuff. The V4 pogo stick. Sign knew, me up. I knew you'd love that. Oh, yeah. Like jumping 10 feet in the air. Not dangerous at all. Yeah, I, I think this is a bad idea for you. No, it's you, great. Just you. Other people yeah, should well, get it, not you. <laughs> watch us every week here on Kicked Weekly. Subscribe to this YouTube channel right now if you can. Please leave some great comments for us. And if you hear of a great crowdfunding project coming up, uh, drop us a line. Let us know. Yeah, we would totally love to feature you on the show. I'm Kim. This is Dan. We will see you back here next week.